guys, it's Amy from Nail Polish Baby 90 and welcome to today's video. Today I am here with a nail polish haul. Now it may feel like I've only just done one, which is kind of true, but I'm here today with actually um, quite a big package of this is gifts. So if you aren't a fan of watching videos where the person hasn't bought everything themselves, this possibly isn't for you. We're going to start with the gifts, so if you want to skip over that, that'll be a little, in a little bit. She said she wanted to send me some, some Harry Potter polishes that she thought I would love. As you know, that is something that I'm really after these days. So we messaged backwards and forwards and I said, of course, it's only in an in a exchange that I could send her something. So Jeannie should hopefully have her things by the time that this video is going up. And I say that you guys never have to offer to send me anything. Honestly, I have so many polishes, but I love building connections and friendships with you guys through sending things back and forth if I can. So again, thank you to Jeannie and thank you to anybody in the past that sent me beautiful messages and cards and things. And I, I, I keep every single thing. So let's jump in and like I say, we'll do Jeannie's gift first. So first of all, we have one of the, I will do close-ups to everything in this haul as well. This is the Chocolate Peppermint Scented Top Coat by, I'm going to butcher this, Cuticula, Cuticula, Cuticula. I think that's how I'm going to go with it. I see so much about this top coat recently, and it's all been because of Polish Pickup. Polish Pickup, they always show cuticula they do nail tape they do top and base coats and the top and base coats are always scented so this is definitely something that genie read my mind and i definitely something i wanted to try for myself this is in the scent did i say chocolate peppermint and peppermint is one of my favorite scents to try so i haven't given that a go yet but i will be very soon and i will report back to what i think of their top coats because so far there's a lot of hype about them we then have two products from the brand top shelf lacquer and top shelf lacquer is from ohio where genie is from and she said she wanted to send me some that were made in her state so the first thing is the Top Shelf Lacquer um, Peach Scent Cuticle Oil. I always love a cuticle oil, especially one that I can take on the go with me. And this is in a lipstick, um, like lipstick, lip gloss formula pen stick so that can definitely be something that I can travel around with me. The polish itself is called Time Flies When You're Having Rum and this is stunning. This is um, blue with blue multichrome blue flash and there's also holographic micro glitter in here. This is just perfect and it could be the sister for a Polish Con exclusive that was for New York last year. I think it was by KB Shimmer and they made a polish that was in a similar concept to this but different so that one was a lot more flakes and glitters but the base was a similar kind of color so if you were after that one and you could never have got that one i hope this is still available because like i say the blue with the blue flash and the multi-chrome is very reminiscent of that shade to me so thank you again for, to a uh, genie and I can, i'm looking forward to trying top chef lacquer and the rest of the stuff she sent me was actually from moonshine manny um and moonshine manny is a brand run by phoebe moon who is another nail tuber as i guess we've come to call ourselves so the first first two that she sent me one was from the holiday collection and this one is called the way more fun party um, and this is a beautiful multi-chrome it mainly looks to me sits like in a dark blue and then there's a ton of silver glitters in here and then the multi-chrome that shifts around and then from the spring collection we have baby love and this is a beautiful baby pink and you guys know if i'm gonna wear pink it's gonna be baby pink and then there's a ton of flakies in here the flakies almost look like shardy glitters it might actually be shard glitter rather than flakies and there's also a silver shimmer running throughout it so excited for those two because i've only tried one other moonshine manny so it's good to try them and i've said before i love the bottle shapes on these and where are those Harry Potter polishes? I think you're all probably wondering that she mentioned to you. And these are the House Colour Collection from Moonshine Manny. If any of you read the comments on my videos, a lot of people asked me if I was going to be picking these up. And I said that I wasn't. And that's only because I have a few other sets of house colours. And I didn't want to kind of fall into the trap of picking up house colours every time they were released. Um, but Jeannie said I really needed these. And so many of you also told me that I really needed these so um, I now have them so thank you again I've said this so many times but thank you so much to Jeannie um, for these and thank you you guys as well for suggesting that I get them because when I saw them I was even I was more excited by the fact that I know how many of you guys were excited about these so we'll go through these quickly this first one is called Ravenclaw and this one is called Wit and Learning and it's a blue with a ton of bronze glitters in it which is one of my favorite combinations of life 
The Slytherin one is called Ambitious and Cunning and this is this beautiful green and there's a lot of silver shimmer in here and maybe a little bit of green shimmer as well. I like it that the fact they're all slightly different with the combinations. It's not just base and flakies, there's, there's different combinations to each one. And if you haven't watched my recent Harry Potter video, you would know that I am a Slytherin. Then we have Hufflepuff and this one is this beautiful yellow colour. It's again more of a mustardy colour, kind of what I'm wearing today, but it has a ton of black and golden um, chunky glitters in here. So again, like I say, each house colour is almost a different finish, which I also recently appreciate. And the Gryffindor one is Nerves and Chivalry. And this one has got, again, a ton of glitters in here, kind of similar to the Hufflepuff one. But they're in a, a big array of colours where there is almost like, looks like a fiery effect to it. There's hollow, there's um, gold, there's red, there's orange, a ton of different colours. Hopefully the close-up will have helped you out with that. So that is everything that I got in that little package, as well as a ton of Easter candy that I've eaten half of already. Or just some polishes that I picked up from TK Maxx. This might be my craziest moment on this channel, is in I'm going to tell you that I picked up two polishes that I already own. That's right, you heard it. I've, I've gone officially mad. The first one here is Save Me, and this came out in the Nicki Minaj collection. I'm just going to shake it. Um, and if you have been watching me recently, and I, when I do my Throwback Thursday videos, the Nicki Minaj one is one that I really want to do, but I'm just missing one polish. I did pick up Save Me in a D stash, but it was a little thicker, a little gloopier. And when I saw this in TK Maxx, I couldn't resist picking up a fresh bottle of it. I know, that sounds absolutely crazy. So this is actually mainly bar glitter, holographic and rainbow bar glitter, I know a lot of people are a bit don't know if they like bar glitter or not so it might not be for you but TK Maxx has just had a lot of older polishes in stock recently which has made me want to check them every time I'm there I def I saw my boyfriend scales walls in one the other day they had um cuckoo um what's the cuckoo one I can't even think now cuckoo I don't know there was the cuckoo one in there um and there was these ones and then we have this one so this is funky donkey and this is part of the infamous shrek collection now a few years ago they actually released they opi somebody from opi released a ton of colors into the ethos into tk maxx and onto fragrance direct that were weirdly named polishes and when they came out everybody was like where are these where have they come from what are they and after a lot of detective work a lot of people found that those colors were actually relabeled bottles of limited edition colors so i believe that i have funky donkey in a relabeled form which was called bouquet of violets so the hoarder in me and the collector in me wanted to have the one with Funky Donkey written on it. So, I couldn't resist again and I picked it up. So definitely worth checking out your TK Maxx. Like I said, there's not been a lot, but the ones they've had there have been really nice old gems. So that's what I picked up from there. More Harry Potter polishes. These are three from the brand Stella Chroma. If you haven't heard of Stella Chroma before, I, when I first got into nail polish and first was kind of seeing these Harry Potter polishes, this is like years ago, um, there was a brand called Paintbox paint box polish and paint box polish and now Stella Chroma so they come in these beautiful boxes and I picked up three she's got a lot of Harry Potter polishes on there and I also then have some from Polish Pickup which I'm going to show you in a minute so inside the bottles here the first one we have is Won't the Muggles See Us and this is a beautiful Crelly it's almost like that like Robin's Egg super light blue Crelly with a ton of very dainty little grey speckles in here so it's probably going to look kind of like an egg kind of effect when we get when I get it applied and opaque and I just thought it was so beautiful and it was beautiful regardless of the fact that it was called like a Harry Potter reference to name the next two are from a collection that um, she did which were based off of the women of Harry Potter now I believe that these are the only two that were left in stock from that collection by the time I got on there the first one is called his chosen one and this is again a very nice similar to the muggle one where it is like a creamy milky base with a ton of very fine scatterings of glitter in here and the glitters in here are kind of this like rosy gold colour. Um, I think it's going to be a really interesting combination and very dainty on the nails for sure. So that one was his chosen one. And the last one I ordered directly from them is called um, Mother Mother Lion or Mama Lion. Let's get myself here. Mama Lion. And this is a beautiful bronze polish. You know that bronze is one of my favourite colours, colours and finishes to wear on my nails. And it just looks like a bronzy brown jelly base with a ton of like metallic shimmers in here. Um, so possibly the least adventurous out of the three that I picked up because the others are beautiful crellies but I couldn't resist a like a nice stunning bronze colour. I can never have enough bronze. 
And the last portion of this haul is going to be polished pickups. So the first one here we have is one that I was I ordered from February, but they didn't send me, so they sent me it separately later. So this one was called Cosmic Confection, and this one was by um, Fair Maiden, and this is a stunning, like teal turquoise polish. Absolutely, I just. I just can't wait. It's just absolutely beautiful. It's got kind of a purple flash to it. It's got a ton of glitters in here as well. And this is one of the ones when I first saw the preview for Sugar Rush theme that I was like, yes, I need it now. Need it, need it, need it. I love, love turquoise polishes. So I'm so glad it made its way. So that one again was Cosmic Confection by Fair Maiden through Polish Pickup. We're going to have a side note here. Side note story. This is not a rant. This is nothing against any of the women or the people involved in Polish Pickup. I just want to tell you my experience. So the US Postal Service put up their prices recently. Um, absolutely fine. So everybody, most indie makers have increased their shipping charges. One of the suggestions that was made on the Polish Pickup Facebook group was that maybe international people should do group orders. So that's what I did for this. Me and one of the other now Polish ladies in the UK, Sean, we put a joint order in. Everything went through fine, it arrived, we had a customs charge. Um, and the only thing with that was I was just thinking that I was a little bit meh, is that I wish that they'd said that as a company they have decided not to reduce the price on the front of the labels when they ship things out. Because that way I could have factored in the pop the like factored it in that I had to pay the customs charge and then it possibly would have been cheaper for me just to do my little order of four just directly to me. Um but there you go. So just if you do order from them, they don't mark down their packages. So therefore, if you order over a certain amount, you may be subject to a customs charge. So just factor all of that in when you're deciding how to shop from Polish Pickup. A side note again from that is that the way, in case any of you don't know, the way that the marking down system works in the US is the US Postal Service is technically a government corporation. It's run by the government. So when they're asked, to, when you're asked to put on the value of the package, it's obviously completely down to indie sellers. No one ever be disappointed that an indie seller won't mark a brand down for them because it's just a personal decision on where that brand stands against what they're doing. In the UK, the Royal Mail is not owned by the government, so I don't know how it would apply if they found out you were not like breaking the rules, what would be the kind of I don't know how that would go, but from my understanding, the US Postal Service is a government agency, so don't ever be upset or disheartened if indie makers won't reduce the like the declaration the price on the declaration if you're interested to know whether they are going to or not i'm sure just approach them and just say hi just let me know if in your policy you do or not so i can factor in if i've got to pay customs or not and back to the policies because i'm sure after that you all want to know what i picked up so this month i decided that i would try two of the nail care items that was available so the first one is from stella chroma who i just mentioned and this is their emulsifying sugar scrub sugar scrub and this is in the scent Butterbeer. And it's a nice reasonable size here. And when you open the top, it's all sealed down. Oh, there we go. So when you open it up, this is what it looks like. It's quite a nice like paste consistency. If I tip it up, it's not going to pour out. So you take a scoop, add water, and it really does smell like Butterbeer. If you, I, I can say that because I guess you have in um, America, there is the Universal Studios Potter world, but also from the Harry Potter ex like tour and experience over here in the UK, I can tell you that this smells exactly like Butterbeer. Very caramelly, very like, like a little bit milky, very sweet. Um, and I've been really into using a hand scrub recently, so I'm looking forward to using that. The other item was from Lily Ann's Garden, and Lily Ann's Garden is a company that I have ordered things from before, and um, this is their hand cream. Is it just called their normal hand cream? Just called their hand cream? Yeah. And this is in the flavour um, Lothlorien, which is their scent, which is called Dream Flower. Um, and Lothlorien is um, from Lord of the Rings, and this is what size you get. It's a very nice thick hand cream, and I'm going to take this to work with me because I don't have a a hand cream on my desk smells so good like and there must be any oh so yeah apricot grapes um, and shea butter you can really smell the apricot it smells so good um, and I haven't really tried a lot of indie hand care items so I'm definitely excited to try both of these out and try and get into the indie hand care world what were the polishes I hear you ask so like I say one of them was by Stella Chroma and the theme for March if I haven't said it already was books so the Stella Chroma ones, the, both of these ones I got were Harry Potter. But this first one here is called Let Me Show You. And I believe this was based on one of the artworks from the like drawn, they have like, illustrated versions of Harry Potter and I believe this is where the artwork came from. 
and I can't remember off the top of my head without looking but I think that one of them was from the Chamber of Secrets I, I, need to, I need to look it up. So like I said, this one's called Let Me Show You and it's a black base with a ton of multi-chrome and rainbow coloured flakies in there. So very excited to try that and I think that would look beautiful with a matte top coat. This other one here is from a brand called Bliss Polish and I have heard of them but I've never tried them before. And this one is called Master of Death and this is a beautiful deep like royal purple colour. And then we have a ton of almost like metallic flakies in here, metallic flecks in there. Um, and it just makes it look very, yeah, like royal, regal, shiny, glittery. Um, so very excited to try a new indie brand and add more Harry Potter to my life. So that is everything. That is my nail polish haul. Um, like I say, a big section of that was a gift so again thank you so much to Jeannie um, give me a thumbs up subscribe let me know what you've been picking up recently down below and I will see you soon bye